Joe Beast was like one of the one of our first dudes who was right. like out of Pittsburgh. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So those were the dudes who I looked up to. And um, yeah, it's it's cool being like one of the first niggas from Pittsburgh because we didn't really have like a, a, a style voice. or a sound. You right. know what I mean? And even now, the young niggas they sound completely different from me. You know, there's there's all different types of, of, of styles and sounds that come out of the bird. And um, I just think people, you know, they gravitate towards what they want at the time. And me being on the internet and being in people's faces and traveling, and you know what I mean? I was able to just be able to be like, I do all of that and I'm repping Pittsburgh too. You right. know what I mean? It wasn't right. just like, yo, the bird. But Black and Yellow was hella intentional because literally at every point in my career when I was, I knew I was going to be on the radio, if I got a chance to make a single, it was about Pittsburgh. Right. There's a song called... 412 or Pittsburgh sound there's hella shit where it's like I thought it was my chance at that time and it was like boom here's a Pittsburgh song it just happened to be you know black and yellow was the one that that was the shit yeah yep 